think ballet can be really toxic for people. Historically, it has been very white, very thin, very cisgender. Each day that I put myself out there, it makes it okay for others to put themselves out there as well, for others to see themselves seen in the ballet world, for kids growing up to see someone who looks like me and to feel like maybe they can do it too. I didn't see body diversity in the ballet world when I was growing up, which really contributed a lot to my issues with self-worth as a dancer, to my struggles with body image. And really, I mean, I didn't see anyone um, performing on stage when I would go see companies perform. I didn't see anyone in dance magazines, dance catalog. The culture and expectations of the dance world, specifically the ballet world, certainly contributed to my eating disorder, but definitely wasn't the only cause. But the culture of ballet, especially with how it idealizes thinness even more severely than our general culture does, really made me hyper focus on that because I felt that if I wanted to be successful as a ballet dancer, I needed to be as thin as possible, especially as someone who grew up in a slightly larger body. to truly put my eating disorder behind me, I needed to have some time away from dance. I needed to have not just the extra time in my week, but I needed that brain space to reevaluate what I wanted ballet to look like for me. I needed to reevaluate, you know, was ballet something I really still enjoyed? Was I doing it because I loved it or was I doing it because I wanted to continue manipulating my body? Every day I post ballet photos and videos on my Instagram and I put myself out there and celebrate myself for where I'm at, for where my body is, for who I am. And that can be really scary because while I get a lot of support, I do get hate as well. <laughs> It is really for the black sheep of this dance world, people who may have felt pushed away because of their size, because of their gender, because of their race, because of their disability, because of their sexual orientation. Basically anyone who has felt that they didn't belong in this classical ballet world, Brian wanted to make a place where they could be celebrated, where they could be appreciated, where they could be treated as the professional artists they are. And with being a virtual company, we can bring our works to people who otherwise might not be able to have professional ballet in their lives. <laughs> interning at a group practice specializing primarily in treating eating disorders, body image concerns, and trauma. And I wanted to specialize in these areas because of my own healing journey, my own recovery. The therapists that I've had along the way have been so instrumental in my healing and they were able to help me tap into my own inner resources. We just need some guidance in cultivating these resources within ourselves and wanting to be able to make eating disorder treatment more accessible, wanting to be able to make it more ethical, wanting to be able to help others in the way that I have been helped. <laughs> <laughs>